Hi, my name is Yuvi Randava. Hi, my name is Yuvi Randava. Hi, my name is Yuvi Randava. This is my audition for this is my audition for this is my audition for audition for audition audition for audition audition for Hi, my name is Yuvi Randava and this is my audition for guy in background number two. Chasing your dreams is tough. Hey, is this a bad time? No, no, it's a, it's a perfect time. So, uh, I've heard back, they saw your tape, and they loved it, but unfortunately, they're gonna go with somebody else this time around. It's hard, wanting something with every fiber of your being, but not being able to get it. So why do I keep going? Why do I keep chasing this dream when it feels like I'm getting nowhere? Why don't I just take the easier route? Why don't I give up? I honestly don't know. I just can't imagine not putting my heart and soul into following my dreams. And the question is, why can you? As a kid, I knew I wanted to be an actor. I loved watching movies and TV shows, but it was when I saw behind the scenes footage that I got really excited. I loved seeing how the movies were made. What was the director telling the actors? What were the actors doing to prepare? I loved it. And all I could think of was, how do I do that? You know, how do I get there? Now, it wasn't until high school that I finally started taking acting classes. I decided it was time to follow this lifelong dream and passion of mine. And I would love to say that this was the start of this beautiful and intricate and graceful journey, but it wasn't. Christy, the gods are here. So maybe we should just break up now. I can't tell Rin, unless I promise to never see you again. I took acting classes for two summers and then I went to school for software engineering. Now don't get me wrong, that was always the backup plan. You know, during the days I'd go to class, do my homework and my assignments, but at night, that's when I came alive. That's when I would write, act, film, and just be creative. And oh boy, did I make some amazing stuff between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. And yeah, it's almost been a full year since I've graduated and you have no clue who I am. And honestly, that's okay. This part of my life, this current struggle period where I'm unsure of what I'm doing or if I'm even doing anything, this is the most important part. Because let me tell you something about following your dreams. It sucks. Everyone watching this video has a dream, has something they wish they could do with their lives but not everyone watching this video is following that dream because, well, it's scary. Oftentimes we look at people that have achieved the things we want to achieve and think, wow, I wish I could swap places with them. You know, I wish I could wake up tomorrow and have their life, but let me break some tough news to you. There is no dream without the struggle. You see, it's the struggle that makes that dream worth anything. The hard work, the sleepless nights, the self-doubt, these are the things that help you understand how delicate and precious that dream you're trying to achieve really is. I promise if you woke up tomorrow and had achieved all of your dreams without doing any of the hard work, you'd be faced with more problems than you can imagine. You'd have imposter syndrome and a huge misunderstanding of how precious and how privileged you are to be in the place that you're in. It's why we always root for the underdog. We love to hear those stories about people that had nothing and had to grind and claw their way to the top because it shows us their character. It shows us how much they deserve to be in the place that they're in. So yeah, the fact that you don't know me yet, the fact that I'm not the lead in the latest Netflix show or the face of the latest movie franchise is okay. 
because one day it'll come and when it does there's going to be no one more prepared for it than me I really drove 20 minutes to get to this movie theater because I expected there to be like movie posters that I could point at and say, I'm not on this movie poster yet. There's no movie posters. So you just got me standing outside for no reason in minus temperature.